What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the winner of our weekly poll for other artists. Uh, I'm super keen for this one because I've previously reacted to The Fox and the Hound with Adam Chance uh, on Adam Chance's channel where they did Wayfaring Stranger and I know that I know from that video that The Sound of Silence is basically they finished recording that one, turned around and got a different camera angle from the back and performed this one for the Fox and the, the Hound and the Fox's channel. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they do with this. This is The Sound of Silence, which is of course an incredible song. Uh, I love this song. I love the disturbed version. I love the original. I'm curious to see how these guys do it. So without further ado, we're going to get into this. Please check out the original video in the link below. And this is the sound of the, uh, the sound of silence featuring Adam Chance by the Fox and the Hound. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping Okay, this is so much closer to the original than the Disturbed version, and I love that. Their voices, seeing at exactly the same time, sound stunning. Uh, it sounds... It, I can't even put into words how right it sounds. It just sounds correct. It sounds how it's meant to be. This should always be a thing. They just sound beautiful together. Let's go. Left it seems while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence the streams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Beneath the halo of a street lamp I turned my car to the cold and damp When my eyes were stabbed by the Come flash on. Come on, Adam. Adam has such a great voice for storytelling. It just works so, so well. Oh my God. I always forget how impressive this guy is until I hear him solo again, or like not solo, but outside of the home free circle. I forget how talented he is until I hear his stuff that he does by himself or with other artists because mind blowingly talented. He just has such a voice for storytelling. When my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light That split the night And touched the sound of silence And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking Comparison of, uh, I don't know his actual name, but Hound compared to Adam Chance. When Adam Chance was singing his bit and Hound was singing with him, it was just, he has such a nice, sweet sound to his voice. I don't know if he goes deeper. I haven't heard any of the other stuff, so I don't know if he goes down into the depths like Adam Chance does. He's just not doing this one because they're getting Adam to do that. But he sounded so, uh, I'm trying to think of a better word for it other than pretty but it was just this beautiful, pure sound uh, in there. And now hearing him sing with the Fox, to a, yeah, their voices just mesh so well. And it's just this beautiful, clean sound to it that I love. People hearing without listening. People writing songs that voices never share. Said I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words that I might teach you Take my arms that I might reach you But my words like silent raindrops fell And 
Oh, that was stunning. I'm sorry to pause you there, Adam. I know you're going to do something good yourself, but Hound killed that part. That was gorgeous. Like silent raindrops fell and echo in the world and echo in the wells of silence and the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made and the sign flashed out its warning that it was for me from an arrangement standpoint like taking aside how beautiful and stunning their vocals are but from an arrangement side of things for oh, this is right up there this might be one of my favorite arrangements of this song if not just second to disturbed version because disturbed version was such a unique take on it and it worked so well but what they just did there the complete drop away of it felt like it all built up and then instantly just all dropped away and it was so brilliant and now it's just all back to being really quiet and reserved they have killed this arrangement and like I said it's probably tied for first place for me because it feels the three versions all feel like you can't compare them to each other this feels closer to the original, uh, but the original's kind of almost turned into a meme at this stage on the internet, so it's so nice to get a fresh take that captures all of that emotion while still being close to what was the original. Uh, Disturbed feels like it's in a whole other category, so I don't like to compare any artist versions of songs to each other because they're all so unique in their own way, and I love this just for what it is. It's phenomenal. Uh, I want to go, I'm sorry, I want to go all the way back in here the way they built that up and then just dropped it away. It was so good. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made and the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was for me Then the sign said the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls And tenement halls And whispered in the sound of silence Oh my god, the way they ended that Okay, so it might have been this one they filmed first and then turned it around for uh, Wayfaring Stranger. I kind of want to hear if the two songs lead into each other uh, and pay attention to the lyrics and see how the lyrics inter intertwine. But there was so, so much about that there that I adored. Um, the part, I didn't get a chance to mention it before and then I'd rewound it and was watching through it again. Um, before they did the big drop away of sound, the choice they made to do the each repeating the same line over and over again uh, was so good. I can't remember what the line was. I need to go back and hear it one more time. Sorry, guys. We won't listen to the whole thing again, but I just want to hear what that line was before it all cut out and went to black. Let's see. Back a little bit further, somewhere around. Gone too far now? No, I can't find it, but that is okay. Why is it? Oh, okay. Um, like silence. That's what it was, Echoed in the Well. They actually used Echoed in the Well on repeat and then they did the Of Silence and then it went boom, dead silent. Such a cool thing to do. And the way that at the end there, they had that kind of reverb, like kind of type sound on the last, very last bit of it. So it just kind of hung with you was so good. And then to end the entire video on just this whole moment of some slight music in the background 
but just this really long outro of no real music, not a whole lot of sound, just kind of them standing there quietly with their back to you. It just felt like adding to the storytelling. They did such a good job on this. I am so impressed. I've said it, I said it the last time I reacted to them and I haven't had a chance since, but I want to see so much more of the Hound and the Fox. I need to get so much further into these guys because mind-blowing, absolutely incredible. Uh, everyone, please go and like the original video, give it a comment, subscribe to Hound and Fox if you haven't already, uh, and give this video a like and a comment, subscribe to me if you haven't already because it helps me out so much. Uh, check me out over on Patreon where you can vote in weekly polls for stuff like this as well as check out my TV show reactions, my movie reactions, live streams, a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, it's all over there on my Patreon. So please check that out. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching today. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.